Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather and I am no longer emetophobic. So I have worked uh, through my emetophobia to cure it uh, using the Cure Your Emetophobia and Thrive program by Rob Kelly. Um, I have put in a lot of work and a lot of effort um, day in and, and day out and I would say that I'm about 80% cured. Uh, in fact, I uh, the last appointment with my consultant, I didn't even realize I had already cured myself. Um, this program, it just if you work it and you you do the the actions and the exercises and you do everything that the book tells you to do, um, it'll change your life. It changes more than just your phobia. It changes more than this disorder. It um, helps to bring up your self-esteem. And I haven't had, um, you know, a full-blown panic attack in in months now. Um, so I just kind of wanted to put this out here as my testimonial um, to the program that that it does work. That Rob's program absolutely works. Uh, when I started with the program um, back in October, some of the things that I wouldn't do uh, as a result of allowing this disorder to consume me um, was just simple things uh, at first, but then it just s snowballed into where I just didn't have a life anymore. Um, by September of last year, I um, was no longer doing a lot of the things that I enjoyed doing. Um, I was afraid of my own horse. I couldn't, um, I wouldn't haul my horse and my horse trailer very far. It, I would have panic attacks and just break down um, just hauling him to random places to, to go ride. Um, you know, and here our whole life is, is built around the livestock and our property and so we put a lot of work into being able to have the horses and I wasn't able to, to enjoy them anymore. Um, and then uh, after our anniversary trip in September, um, I had just a complete and utter meltdown. So um, soon after that, I was no longer doing my own grocery shopping, even with my husband. I, I couldn't bring myself to to do the, the grocery shopping. I couldn't um, go clothes shopping. I wouldn't ride in a car with anyone um, because I was afraid to be sick. Um, the last time I went to the pharmacy with my husband before I had cured myself, uh, I was standing in line having a full-blown panic attack. I was shaking. I was looking at the garbage can. I was staring at the garbage can thinking, God, I feel sick. I need to be sick. What if I need to be sick? Um, and by the time I got to the poor pharmacist, he just had this look on his face. Um, I must have just looked absolutely insane. And he uh, was very kind. He was very gracious. He um, put everything aside and he got me out of there as quick as he could. And um, he knows my prescriptions. Obviously, I was on um, I was on Valium. I was on um, Effexor, and I had Xanax. I had. Um, couple of anti-nausea pills. I had some heart pills, um, none of which I take anymore. Um, so that is a huge plus as well. I don't take any of it. Um, so, you know, the poor guy knew something was wrong with me. So, uh, you know, he ushered me out of there and after that I didn't, didn't go in anywhere. Um, I didn't fly anymore. Actually, I used to fly to California every summer, um, when I was younger and, uh, you know, I, I was nervous, you know, and I did kind of look at the sick bags and things like that, but um, I, last year I wouldn't go anywhere near a plane, um, even early this year. Uh, food, I eventually stopped eating solid food altogether. I was existing on Ensure and um, protein powder in my fruit smoothies that I would make if um, my husband could force me to eat or drink those. Um, so I'd lost nearly 40 pounds in just a few months. Um, I had a new job and I had to tell my employer that I couldn't be at work. So they were kind enough to let me work from home on occasion um, when it was really bad and I just couldn't get myself out the door. Um, 
we started going to specialists over in Seattle and seeing gastroenterologists and neurologists and um, a couple of other doctors and of course there was nothing actually physically wrong with me. Um, the nausea and the stomach pain and the dizziness and um, everything else that I was going through was all from up here. It was everything inside my head that I had just I was creating this giant thing out of something so little as, as vomit. I, it just it seems ridiculous to me now. but um, So I did eventually stumble upon the Thrive program and I am forever, forever grateful to Rob for his program. I did go through it a couple of times. I struggled a little bit, um, mostly internally with myself. Um, but there's a lot of wisdom in here. It uh, will actually affect more than just your phobia, more than just your disorder. Um, you will see a benefit in all areas of your life. And I really just, I really do recommend the program. I have had several experiences now that have solidified to me that I am cured. I mean, not only do I no longer um, automatically panic if I wake up in the middle of the night, I used to just, I'd automatically panic and think my body was waking me up to be sick. Now it's more of an irritation than um, a panic-inducing thing. Um, I watched a little girl vomit in the grocery store at lunch and I just kind of walked around it and grabbed my food and went back to work and ate my lunch. Um, I'm able to haul my horse now with very little uh, anxiety. I mean, there's still a little bit of it. Um, that's one of the things that I'm still working on. Uh, my LOC, my locus of control score um, was 25 of 30 when I started the program uh, the second time around. And I am proud to say it's now down to 8 and it's getting lower and lower by the day. I'm still working on some of my locus of control points. Um, but the last time I took my social anxiety um, quiz, it was down really, really low. I think it was like 20% uh, or something like that. I don't know. My self-esteem was up at 80%, so that's fantastic. Um, I'm able to go grocery shopping on a whim, or I go clothes shopping on a whim, or um, went camping overnight several times, and we eat um, stuff we can't necessarily see. By the time we're cooking it, it's dark, and it's chicken, so hopefully it's cooked all the way through. If not, it really doesn't bother me that much. I'm able to eat at work and do um, the buffet-style stuff. Um, a gal at work was throwing up the day before and, and she comes the next day just fine and starts eating around, you know, picking up food from the buffet line and I didn't give it a second thought. I uh, I just, I real, really do feel really good. Uh, you know, there's still good days and bad days just like anything else. With Thrive, you're not expected to be this perfect no worries, rainbows and butterflies kind of person. You're you're still allowed to be a real person, but um, your lows won't be nearly as low and they won't last nearly as long. Um, that's been my experience anyway. Um, you know, and people have asked me, well, how do you know you're cured? And just sitting down and, and considering what happens if I, if I vomit? What happens if I'm sick? It really doesn't bother me as much anymore. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I had some really bad stomach pain and I actually had to get out of bed. I felt really, really bad and um, it was really strange because I did grab my bottle of water and filled my bottle of water um, without even thinking about it. It was muscle memory, something, you know, I would grab my bottle of water, put my shoes on and go outside before I was sick. Um, I'd never made it to a toilet before in my entire life. I was always sick somewhere, like outside or on the floor. Or <laughs> um, I haven't done it very many times, so I'm not very good at it. Um, going back to the we're not very throwy uppy people. We don't do it enough. Um, I just I real I looked down. My bottle was in my hand, and I'm in the bathroom going, you know, I didn't even know how it had gotten there. Um, there was no panic, there was no being upset, there was no nothing. Um, eventually the stomach pain passed and I went back to bed and um, just the other night I had a bunch of dreams about vomit, I have no idea why, And but I woke up and I didn't feel sick, I wasn't bothered by it, I didn't, it's just, 
it's the the little things. I mean, you're no longer thinking about it day in and day out. Yeah, it's still gross. It still isn't going to be pleasant. Nobody expects you to like it, but it's not this event that you were dreading. It's not something that you just live in fear of anymore. So um, anyway, if you are at all um, considering curing yourself, working on yourself, seeking help, I would really definitely recommend um, going and, and getting the book. And if you get stuck or you think you need a more structured program, go to the website, pick a consultant. Um, I mean, technology has made it fabulous for us these days. We can go and, and see a consultant anywhere um, from your living room on a Saturday morning. Thank you, Claire. Um, it's just, there is no excuse. You can do it. It's terrifying. I'll give you that. It is terrifying. Um, your secondary gains from your um, disorder they'll be hard to get rid of definitely I mean that was one of my hang-ups was I would actually have to get off my butt and do my own grocery shopping I would have to do my own clothes shopping no more going online and buying clothes there and hoping they fit you need to get off your butt and just go shopping <laughs> um, so yeah it, it, you know and I wouldn't have excuses if I didn't want to go somewhere um, just yeah, it's it's a scary change. You've lived that way for, you know, sometimes decades. I, I've been like this, I had been like that for over 20 years, 25 years. But it's not worth it when there's so much life out there. So um, one of the other things that I had avoided, uh, even after being married once before and being married now, was becoming pregnant. It was an absolutely terrifying thought for me to become pregnant and possibly have morning sickness. Um, I'm happy to say now that we uh, are going to be trying to start a family and um, I'm really excited. Morning sickness or not, I really don't care. I really just don't care. So anyway, again, if you are tired of living this life, that, that life, just um, go online, grab the book, get a hold of a consultant, just do something for yourself um, and your family and uh, it's a really simple program. It, there's nothing in here that's hard to understand. Um, it may be hard to accept that it's you, that it's me, that it's us. We're doing this to ourselves. Um, but there you have it. So anyway, again, please, please pick up the book, do something. Uh, I did and I am forever in Rob's debt and I hope to travel to the UK and meet him someday.